We uh, hunted down the location of the bridge that uh, they say is where you can hear the donkey lady. And they've actually made the area into a park. So even though the area is kind of creepy, you have pretty easy access to it because everything out here, this is the Medina River. heavy right now. I guess that's due to the snow. Oh. But it is a beautiful little place. I'm sure it is kind of spooky at night. I don't know what kind of uh, a lot of living things out here too. So we just parked right over there and walked over here. It's not as big as a, uh, a hassle as it used to be, but the road over here is, is kind of overgrown and it's, this is the Donkey Lady Bridge or the bridge where you can supposedly hear the Donkey Lady. several squirrels out here. I don't know if you can see him right there, but uh, I'm sure at night that's not a, this isn't a pleasant sight to be at. Oh, somebody fished here too. It was, a, it was a long way to walk. I mean, the bridge is just right there. Um, and it really, I mean, I can see cars just right up there because that's where the, did you see that one? <laughs> it's really not that far. But looking at this, it probably would be pretty creepy at night. But, being an older person now, not like what we used to do, where we heard chainsaws and people chasing us. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to do the same thing. Because in the winter, the woods look very much uh, Blair Witches. We ought to make some little. Uh, stick figures and, <laughs> and hang them on trees. This, this is odd to me. Well, the entrance to the road over here, I mean, it's been torn up to where you basically just left the road. I mean, the Zarza Moor is right there. Apple White's right there, excuse me. But it's just, uh, like I said, it's starting to get so overgrown now. This would be, give it to a girlfriend over here or something like that, telling ghost stories and 
like that. Going over that bridge and listening for things and it would be a wild night. All right, we've continued down the trail here for a while and we found several, uh, lots of deer tracks. So there are a lot of animals out here in the woods. So if it's dark and you're, you're hearing things on that bridge, plus there's remnants of some kind of building. There's stuff over there too that there might be individuals living in this wood. So. He's dead asleep, or I don't know. 